Today on Zoom, I'm going to show you how to make three refreshing drinks that you can make on a hot day. These drinks come from three different countries. This is really good. Yes, I can't get my boots on. Hold still, I can help you. Oh. Oh. Last thing that you're going to add is baking soda that's wrapped in two pieces of toilet paper. Safety glasses on. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, and by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundation, the Weezy Foundation, the Tucker Gosnell Family Foundation, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. School, right here in Northampton, Massachusetts. Get that ready to do! do. Costumes and 
Sometimes the costumes look scary, and I like getting scared because I've never had have them before. My favorite holiday is Passover because we get to read a book and everybody gets to read one page of the book. Halloween because I get candy. I love candy. <laughs> Christmas because I like sharing and giving away presents. My favorite holiday is my birthday because I get to choose where to go. <laughs> I hope you're thirsty, because today I'm going to show you how to make some refreshing frozen drinks. These drinks come from three different countries, India, Thailand, and Dominican Republic. This first drink is from India. It's called a mango lassi. A lassi is a cool drink made with yogurt. It can be sweet or salty. This one's made with mangoes, so it's sweet. Rabneet T of California emailed us the directions. Here's what you'll need to make four mango lassis an 8-ounce container of plain yogurt, one cup of fresh ripe mango, sugar, and some ice cubes. Here's what you'll do. Peel and wash a mango and then cut it into cubes. If you're not allowed to use a knife, ask an adult for help. If the mango is really ripe, you should be able to peel it with your fingers. Now, add your yogurt, mango, two teaspoons of sugar, and a quarter cup of water into your blender. Oh, yogurty. Yogurt. Mango. Two teaspoons of sugar. And a quarter cup of water. Put your cover on your blender and blend until all the ingredients are mixed. Blend. I can't wait to eat this. Make sure the blender has completely stopped and take it up its stand. Okay. Pour your mango lassi into a tall glass and enjoy. Add some ice. One, two. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Next up, watermelon flushes. Hey, Courtney. Oh, hi, Lily. What do you give a, um, sick word? I don't know. Uh, tweet me. Get it? Tweet me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Remember when we made film canister rockets? See how they launch up into the air and then gravity pulls them back down? Well... Ricky of Glen Mills, Pennsylvania, was watching Zoom and we experiment with film canister rockets and was inspired to send us this idea. It's called Alter the Rocket Experiment. Ricky writes, The things you use are the same as the rocket experiment, but you can make it a car instead by laying the canister and the attached cylinder on its side. Oh. The car should burst forward. Oh, this is going to be awesome. We decided to use Ricky's idea and make a film canister rocket car. Here's how you make the rocket part. First, take a piece of paper and roll it around a film canister to make a long tube, just like this, and film canisters here. Tape it. Now, you need to make sure one end of the film canister is sticking out of the tube so the cap can still go on, just like this. You can make a nose cone by cutting a circle out of paper and cutting a slit okay. right down the middle and taping it together. Yoke. Right. And then tape it so it stays together. Now, tape it to the long tube. So we're going to tape oh, it. Just like that? Yeah. I'll hold it. Thanks. Kind of one like that. Mm -hmm. then and then the other side. Right here. All right. Now you're ready for the fuel. Take one half of a teaspoon of baking soda and put it in two pieces of toilet paper. Right in the middle like that. You want to fold it up like this, corner to corner, to make a small packet. Oh, that's good. Then, you want to press it down into the bottom of the film canister. So it's in the bottom, just like that. Now, put your safety glasses on. Okie dokie. You're going to fill the film canister about three-fourths of the way with vinegar. Oh. And you have to cover the cap real quickly. 
put it on the side and step back. So, because this is going to go real fast. Okay. Well. Okay. Get ready. Come on. Come on. Oh. 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 <laughs> <It> scared me. <laughs> Pretty far. I was surprised. I thought it would. I thought it wouldn't go. Yeah, when it went, it just kind of. But it really went. Well, how can we reduce the friction? What if we use like um? What if we use wheels? Here's what we came up with. We decided to take the rocket to a car that had wheels to reduce the friction. All right, you want to try it? Mm-hmm. Okay. The vinegar. Very slowly. Okay. Oh, jeez, that's way too much, but... <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> it shot the canister out of the water. It, the, it came right out of the <laughs> film canister. <laughs> that went a lot farther, though. Yeah. I think the wheels really do reduce the friction. So let's try it again. Right, sounds So, good. let's see if it works. Very easily pouring that. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let me put the cap on. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is the coolest. <laughs> the cap just went flying. <laughs> I think it didn't go as far. Yeah. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> oh, wait, no, wait a minute. The cap's all the way over here on the top. What? The cap's on the top. It flew up. How did it get up? <laughs> <laughs> try making cones of Guinness Air rockets at home. Maybe you could try seeing how much weight you can add and still having it move. Or see if there's a way that you can make it so that there's less friction on the car so it goes farther. <laughs> make sure you do it outside and stay tuned because later in the show, we're going to try to make a bottle rocket car by turning a bottle and a cork on its side. <laughs> My name is Clayton. I'm here in Seattle. I've been working on this mill for the past month now to commemorate the firefighters who died on September 11th. It's a dedication to all the firefighters that died on September 11th and to commemorate all firefighters that have ever died in the line of duty. And they were the true heroes of 9-11, I would say. Well, even before we started the mill, we met one-on-one -on -one with the firefighters to see how they wanted us to portray them. We're really trying to show the whole aspect of the fire, starting with the call with the operator, coming up the ladders, using actors, saving the babies. You see the smoke and the fire everywhere. I guess in doing this mural, it feels like more or less I'm um, doing something for the fire department. It's actually looking pretty good, I must admit, for the short amount of time that we had. I would consider firefighters both ordinary people and heroes. The fact that they live a regular life, and then when they come to work, they become heroes in saving lives. They're very down-to-earth people. They like to joke around a lot. I want to be a firefighter because I like to help people. And um, it seems like everybody looks up to a firefighter, and, and it just seems like a great job that I could do for the rest of my life. 9-11 made me want to be a firefighter even more. The way everybody talked about the firefighters and everybody looked up to them even more because of that, and it was just a, a greater respect for them. I like giving back to the community. I like enriching communities, making them look better. Taking a, a boring looking type building and turning it into something that people will stop and actually look at. And I like expressing my ideas and feelings through artwork, paint. People look at this mural, they'll see their firefighters doing what they do best. Welcome back to Cafe Zoo. People in Thailand enjoy drinking watermelon juice. We liked that idea and decided to make a frozen version called Watermelon Fresh. Jean of British Columbia in Canada emailed us the directions to make this delicious drink. Here's what you'll do. First, ask an adult to cut a watermelon in half like this one. Use a spoon to carefully scoop out the pink part of the watermelon. Be careful to remove any seeds. And you'll need about two cups of this to make four watermelon flushes. Now it's time to crush the ice. 
you can crush the ice by putting about six ice cubes in a bag and hitting it against a hard surface. I already have mine done. Now, add the watermelon and the ice to the blender. Ooh, it's so juicy. Good. And now I'll add the ice. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Put the cover on the blender and blend for about 20 seconds or until all the ingredients are mixed. That was quick. Make sure the blender has completely stopped and take it off its stand. Now, pour your watermelon flesh into a tall glass and enjoy. Oh, let's try this. Oh, wow, it's really good. It's like a watermelon and ice. No, it was. Anyway, next up, Iron's milk. Hey, Mike. Oh, hey, Lenny. Why are crows so noisy? I don't know. Why? Because. Get it? Because. Oh, I thought it was because. Oh, I mean. volunteered by growing flowers and vegetables at their school and then giving them away. The flowers are being donated to the senior citizens and the vegetables are being given to the local food bank. First, they planted the seeds, which were for potatoes, squash, peas, poppies, and marigolds. Then they made stakes and labels so they could identify the plants once they started to grow. They also experimented by putting some of the seeds in clear plastic bags so they could watch the different stages of growth. When spring came, everyone helped transplant the sprouting seeds outside, but they had to wait for the snow to melt first. Do you volunteer in your community? If you do, you're already a member of the Zoom team. We want to hear all about it. Send your story, along with any photos or videos, to this address. Remember, the little things you do can sometimes make a big difference. Zoom into action! And join the Zoom team! So, we showed you how to make a rocket out of a film canister. Remember when we also made one out of a bottle and a cork? Okay, we have to go quick. Go quick, quick, quick. Stay back. Oh. <laughs> See how the bottle and the cork went up in the air? So, so cool. We thought it'd be fun to turn the bottle and the cork on its side and make a bottle rocket car. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right, safety glasses on. First, take a toy car and tape it to a bottle. All right, let's tape this. Oh, you want to make it so it can roll, so put it, put it right there. Put it on, yeah. I'll put it on the edge of the car. Remember, we have to do it here. Hold it. We have to do it really tight. Okay, so right in the center. Okay. Okay, go. Now, add one cup of lemon juice into the bottle. Ours is already added. Okay. And you also want to find a cork that fits the top. Now, the last thing that you're going to add is pigment soda that's wrapped in two pieces of toilet paper. But we can't put it in yet because it reacts really fast. That'll probably work. Okay. Here, get this ready. Pack it up real nice. Because we didn't tape it. Tape. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't think it was going to go, and then the court shot. And we shook it up real nice and then. Here's the science scoop <laughs> on what just happened. When the lemon juice and the baking soda react to form carbon dioxide, the gas is pushing out in all directions. It's pushing on the cork, and it's pushing on the inside of the bottle. 
as long as the cork is in the bottle, the cork and the bottle are pulling each other together and they stay still. But when there's enough pressure inside the bottle, the cork releases and flies one way while the bottle flies the other way. Pretend I am the bottle and Mike is the cork. Okay. We're pulling each other and keeping still. But if something breaks the force, oh, we're pushed apart. Are you okay? <laughs> yes. I'm fine. So let's let's try to experiment to see how we yeah. could get it so that the bottle and the car and yeah. the cork move in the same direction. Okay. So how what if, how do you think we could? But what if we put something behind it so it like 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 went that way? A what piece is? of wood. Yeah, we could try that. Like if we if we put it on the ground and then we both held it down. I'll go right here because I have to put the packet in. Okay. And you get behind it. Put like your leg right here so it stays straight. Hold it, hold it. <gasps> so actually the cork did move with the bottle. It didn't move real far or as much as the bottle did, but... It did move in the same direction. Yeah. Oh, that was so great. <laughs> awesome. When we put the piece of wood behind the cork, the piece of wood was acting like the table did when we launched the lemon juice rockets off into the air. You can't see it, but what's actually happening is that the rocket is going down, pushing off of the table, and then going up. Here's a way that we can show you this. We've taken the table away and suspended the bottle in midair. Check this out. You ready? Do you want to cork it or put I'll, it in? I'll cork it. Put it in hard, hard, hard. Yeah, the, the bottle was gonna shoot down, but the elastics caught it and let it come back up. See, like when the cork go like this, mm -hmm. and then like up, down, and then this came back up like that, and then that fell on the ground. Experiment with bottle rocket cars at home and see what else you can discover. You'll oh. probably want to work outside on a flat surface, like the sidewalk or your driveway, so you won't make a mess inside. Send your rocket discoveries and ideas to Zoom. Here we are again at Cafe Zoom. Tara S. of Partridge, Illinois, sent us the directions on how to make this next drink. She calls it Island Milk. This drink comes from the Dominican Republic. Children there make it by themselves all the time. It's made with milk and oranges. That combination might seem strange, but it tastes delicious. Besides milk and orange juice, you'll also need sugar and some crushed ice. Here's what you'll do. Add one cup of milk and one cup of orange juice into a blender. I think this has salt, but I don't think it matters. Then, add three tablespoons of sugar and one cup of crushed ice. Three tablespoons of sugar. That's a lot. And one cup of crushed ice. Okay. Put the cover on the blender and blend for about 20 seconds or until all the ingredients are mixed. Make sure the blender has completely stopped and take it off its stand. Then, pour your island milk into a glass and enjoy. Oh, look at that. So there you have it. Three refreshing drinks that you can make on a hot day. Buen provecho. Mmm. Tastes like a cream pickle. Mmm. Really Here's a simple recipe. You've got to send us emails. Yes or no? Email. 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 Email.
does with all the other kids. Teacher, I can't get my boots on. Okay, Billy, hold still. I can help you. Okay. That one. Ooh, push. Okay. They're on the wrong feet. Uh, oh, okay. I, we can fix that. Whoa. Oh. Switch them. Whoa. Get that one. These aren't my boots. Uh, okay, why didn't you say that earlier, Billy? Alright. They're my brothers. My mom made me wear them today. What? Th then we didn't have to take them off. Oh. Okay, that's good enough. Now, where are your gloves? My gloves? Oh, um, they're in my boots. <gasps> 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 Got Oodles of Info in that noodle of yours? If you do, check out Zoom Noodle, an interactive trivia game on the Zoom website at pbskids.org or America Online, keyword PBS Kids. become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, in print material, and in other media. So, that is the Zoom. Here, Father, try some fruit butter. Mmm, cherry. How did you learn how to make this, George Washington? I cannot tell a lie. I got the recipe from the Zoom website at pbskids.org. Oh. Hey, someone chopped down my cherry tree. Where did you get the cherries to make this, George Washington? <laughs> Funding for Zoom is provided by... The National Science Foundation. America's investment in the future. And by... The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. A private corporation funded by the American people. The Arthur Vining Davis Foundation. The Weezy Foundation. The Tucker Gosnell Family Foundation. And by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Yeah!